is John T for the Boxing Voice, and I'm joined today by super flyweight contender Ijez Ahmed. How are you, Ijez? I'm all right, thanks. Um, it's a pronounced Ijez. Ijaz, well corrected. Yeah, okay, yeah. thank you, Ijaz. Sorry, mate. How's things? You've been training this week? Yep, uh, training hard. Um, I mean, as you know, because of the COVID situation, it's been called off a good few times now, and we just gotta hope, hope to uh, God that it, it goes through this time and uh, without any hiccups. Yeah. Well, look, you're going to be on a big card next week, which I'm going to come on to and talk about in a minute. But I'll start off talking a little bit about your career so far, if you don't mind me asking. So you were motoring along really well. You were seven and one. Uh, so just a one solitary defeat and doing really well. And then last time out, you had a crack at the European WBO title, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And then you had a tough night, I think, where you lost on the scorecards. How was the night for you, Ejaz? Well, um, it was me doing all the um, the hard work, pushing the the, the actual fight um, for the full ten rounds. Uh, my opponent was on the back foot, uh, running away. Um, it was like because he's a um, he was a sapo. It was very difficult to pin him down, and um, that's something we have been working on. And um, hopefully, we see an even better uh, performance this time around. But I thought I did enough. Uh, to win the fight, but obviously the judges had it uh, ha had seen a different type of fight. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. What did you learn on the night, Ejaz? Well, I mean, obviously, um, footwork is is key, and um, to be able to get into the right positions, that's what we need to work, we needed to work on. So we have been um, training um, every day, uh, and and. I'm sure this time around will be a different um, outcome. Well, look, it's a fantastic opportunity for you because your next fight out is for the WBO European title again, which is held by your opponent, Casey. Um, I also yeah. believe the IBF belts on the line as well. So a couple of belts is a really good opportunity. You haven't fought since 15 months ago, though, probably because of the pandemic. How do you mm -hmm. think you're going to find that? That might be a bit long that you've been inactive? Well, um to be fair, I mean, yes, sir, that, that does sound like um, what could, could happen. But, I mean, uh, we're always in the gym and we're always training. So uh, that shouldn't be any sort of um, uh, excuse um, for, for, for not getting the results, uh, result on the night. So, I mean, sparring and everything, it's like a fight. But obviously, uh, you're learning and... Um, on the night is is whoever the, whoever the best man will win. Mm. I'm sure Casey um, will be uh, training as hard as me, and he'd want to um, keep his title and get the other one. But uh, I'm hungry as well, and I'm, I want them. Uh, I want them both, and hopefully it will be a cracking fight, and I'll come out on top. On paper, it does look very 50-50. I know you've got the two defeats on your record, which he doesn't. He's 8-0, and you're 7-2, and but you've won the Midlands area title. You've already fought at that European level where you lost mm -hmm. on points. What do you actually know about Casey and his style, and what are you expecting next weekend? Uh, well, I mean, um, obviously, watching videos is a whole different thing to when you're in there and you're... Uh, when you've got the guy in your face, uh, we're just going to have to go in there um, and figure it out once we're in there and uh, we just pick up on things and, and um, exploit his, uh, his, his, um, his style. You're obviously a come forward kind of fighter. I've done a bit of research on you and you've mentioned in your last fight, you came forward and you just couldn't mm -hmm. get it. Will you be looking for a knockout? But bearing in mind that last time you lost on points and you feel you're a bit unlucky, take it out of the judges' hands? You know, in these um, lower weights, it's very hard to uh, actually get yourself a, a stoppage. And personally, I mean, if it comes, it comes, but we've got a game plan to uh, stick with. And uh, we're not going out there to look to um, uh, take anyone out like that. I mean, um, we know what we have to do. And if the stoppage comes, then uh, great. But if it doesn't, uh, we've got a game plan to stick to. 
how are you, are you nervous at all about the experience? Because looking at your, your record, some of the places you fought, I know them well, but lots of places around the Midlands, the Holt Suite in Villa, there's Dudley, there's Birmingham, I think maybe one time in a hotel in Mayfair, but this will be the first big time on the bright lights of TV, right? Yeah, I mean, that that's uh, that's true. I mean, if there was a, a, a big crowd, then it would be a, 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 a bigger, like a uh, more... Um, uh, it'd be more under the lights kind of thing, but because there's not there's not gonna be any um uh, audience, and it'd be like a basically like a um a, a spa in the gym, it was some a, a bit like that. But you're gonna have the lights and the cameras, um. But it's obviously the the roar of the crowd won't be there, and um that suits me down to the ground. I don't mind because I have fought like that in the past. That might play into your hands then is what you're saying next yeah, weekend. Yeah. yeah, excellent. And what about the whole bubble experience? When are you due to go into the bubble? Tuesday or Wednesday? Um, yeah, in one of them days. I'm not too sure. I haven't been given a, a, a date yet, but uh, most likely it's either Tuesday and Thursday or Wednesday. So we've got to go there, get the test done, then isolate. And, and the next day we'll get our results and hopefully, um, uh, God willing, um, it will go ahead and, and we'll fight this time because obviously in the past it, it's been cancelled like two or three times um, and the, the camp's been prolonged and it's just been a, a long, long fair. Um, so hopefully we'll do, mm. the, we'll get the fight on. Well, we're looking this forward to it. it. It looks like a cracker, as I said, on paper. And you've been moved up, I think, now to chief support, bearing in mind that, sadly, the Carl Frampton fight has been delayed. Mm -hmm. um, so real good exposure for you on TV. Now, I'm sure you yeah, won't definitely. look past Casey because that's the no. fight at hand. But should you come through that, you obviously would have two European belts there. What kind of names would you be looking at, Ejaz? To be honest, I, I don't I don't know. Um, I'm just going to, um, like you said, I've got this fight uh, ahead of me. Just well, I'm just focused hundred percent on Casey. So once uh, this fight is over and I've won them titles, it's whatever the the my manager and my team suggest. I don't mind. I fight anyone. It's just uh, that's me in a in a nutshell. I, I don't mind. I don't duck or dive anybody. Uh, whoever comes ahead, whatever names ahead of me, I'm just gonna get in there and do my job. Mm. It would be interesting if you did come through. The reason I asked it is obviously you're living in Birmingham and that's where you're from and you've got mm. Cal Yafai up at that part, similar kind of weight as well, if not the same weight at the moment. Have you ever had the privilege of sparring with uh, Cal? Um, yes, I have. I mean, when I first turned over, I, I, I have actually sparred him. He's a very uh, good uh, fighter, very tough. Um, and I mean, anyone, I don't mind. Uh, and I, I'm not a, uh, the type to talk bad about anybody either. It's just, look, everybody's got a job to do. Everybody wants to win. And we just got to go in there and, and show everybody what we are about and why and um, what we why we actually um, breaking our back uh, to to train every day and, and um, show everybody what we are about. Excellent, mate. Very level-headed and grounded. I like to hear it. Well, look, before I let you go, there is a big fight in a couple of weeks at your weight at world level. Um, I don't know how much you follow the world scene, but you've got Estrada against uh, Chocolito. Uh, they fought about 10 years ago. What are your thoughts on that rematch? Who do you think will win? Uh, the answer is, yeah, I don't really follow the boxing like that. Um, me, personally, I just uh, enjoy participating and, and, and doing it myself. I don't really like 100% follow all the guys i mean uh, if this if it's a big name like um the, the heavyweight scene right now where you got Tyson Fury AJ and all these if it's a big fight on then uh, yeah all the lads will get together and have a have a watch together um and obviously cuz i'm in 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 the game and i know what to be looking at for and um i'll be i'll be like the main guy everybody asks um oh, what you think oh, what's the predictions but um, other than that, I don't really go out my way to um, keep keep um, uh, tabs on other people. Uh, everyone's doing their own thing. I'm doing my own thing. So um, it's just one of them things where I just uh, enjoy participating and, and being in, in, in there with anyone kind of thing. Uh, but I don't really uh, go out my way to watch everybody. 
Uh, that's fair enough. Interesting to hear. While you mention it, then I will ask you on one fight. You've mentioned Fury or Joshua. That fight might happen in the Middle East uh, or the Far East in the summer. Mm. What would your thoughts be on who would win that? Oh, it is a tough one because you got Fury. He's got he's, he's got a very good style. He's got a um, he's the he's the better like technical boxer. But you got AJ. He's got his brute force and uh, eco box as well. But I mean. It's tough. It's a tough one. If um if if AJ catches him, um uh, I think it'll be um good night. But um having said that, um uh, Wilder caught him and he, and he got up. So uh, it's just uh, it's too. I can't call it. It's a, it's going to be a very good fight, and uh, I um I um wish him all the best. Uh, the best man will win on the night. Ah, that's nice, Ejaz. Okay, brilliant. Well, look, we look forward to your fight next week. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a good night for you, and we'll pick up with you after the fight. Okay. Yeah, man, definitely. Thank you very much for your time. No worries. Cheers, Ejaz. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, entitled betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.